The book of Exodus tells us that the Israelites had been in the land of Egypt for 400 years before God asked Moses and his brother Aaron to lead God's people out of Egypt and into the promised land. God performed many miracles along the way, including parting the Red Sea. But as time went on, the 15th day of the second month since they left Egypt to be exact, the Israelites began to grumble to Moses and Aaron Hey, it's a little warm out here. Oh look, more sand. Actually, they were more upset than that. That guy hasn't taken a bath in two months and he stinks. They were really, really mad. In fact, they said, if only we had stayed in Egypt, we could have died there and not here in the desert. Yeah, at least there were drive through restaurants and good Wi-Fi in Egypt. I don't think they said that exactly. But they did grumble a lot and wished they were back in Egypt. As always, the Lord heard their grumblings and told Moses that God would provide for them. God would rain down bread from heaven. Not only did God plan to provide bread, God also planned to provide meat. In the evening, snails came and covered the entire camp. Oops, sorry. That should be quail. <laughs> quail came and covered the entire camp. Huh? It's a type of bird. In the morning, there was dew on the ground. But when the dew went away, thin flakes that looked like frost lay on the ground. The Israelites didn't know what it was, so they just called it manna, which actually means, what is it? Manna tasted like crackers and honey. To be sure God's people would follow, God gave Moses special instructions. Each day, everyone should only gather as much manna as they needed for that day. The rest of the manna would melt away as the day got hotter. Some people tried to save leftovers for the next day, but they found that it smelled bad and had worms in it. Yeah, remember? God said to only gather what will be used that day. The Israelites were to gather enough manna for each day, five days of the week. On the sixth day, God told them to gather twice as much manna. Since the seventh day, the Sabbath day, was holy and was to be a day of rest, they would prepare a double amount on the sixth day, eat as they normally did, and then save the leftovers for the Sabbath day. There would be no manna on the ground on the seventh day. Week after week, month after month, year after year, this was how God provided for the Israelites. Although their menu didn't change for the next 40 years, God was faithful to provide their daily bread. And that's how it happened in the Bible.